Hey, what's going on everyone? Like Gamer here. Uh, I haven't done a pickup video in a while because I kind of want to get away from the pickup video stuff, but uh, I figured I'd do a little collections update slash pickup video for you guys for over the past couple months just to show off some of the cooler stuff that I've gotten over the past couple months. Uh, I, I've picked up a lot of games and everything, but this is just some of the main stuff that I just kind of want to share with you guys and show off to you just to give you a heads up of how my collection is building. So. Without further ado, I'm going to get started from newer items to older items, such as Nintendo and everything. So, we'll get it started off with PlayStation Vita. I did not have any plans to get one of these bad boys, but luckily, if I can find the box here. Yep, hold on. I didn't have to pay for one. I got one of these for free. You can see on the front here, it's a new Scion IQ. Well, some people know this story already. My grandmother purchased that car uh, about a month ago. Whoa, collection falling. Purchased that car about a month ago, and an incentive for getting it is you get a Vita for free. Of course, my grandmother, she's actually pretty cool. She has a Wii, she has a DS, and she replays those. But um, the Vita just wasn't going to be her thing. Maybe from some advice from me telling her it won't have the type of game she liked. Um, she kind of just said, you know what, you can have it for free. Because she knows I love playing video games. I got a birthday coming up anyway, so that, that could cover a couple birthdays for all I care. But yes, I got a PlayStation Vita for free. Um, you can't beat that. I really wasn't looking to get one because there's not much out I really care to play on it right now. But there was one game. I'm a huge fan of the Uncharted series, and that's the game I picked up for it. So, uh, so far I think I'm on the third chapter in it. Gorgeous looking game on the Vita. It's not quite up to PS3 graphics, but I mean, it is really close. It's a great game. Um, I bought one of these devices for it. It's like a grip device. You set your Vita in it, just so I could have more of a grip and a better way to hold on to the console, because it's... Kinda, it's just not super comfortable yet, or maybe I'm just not used to it. But this uh, grip here, this adds a lot more place to hold on to it. Gives it more of that controller feel. Um, the only downfall of this little attachment is adds adds a couple little adds some weight to it, so it can get a little heavy after a while. This bad boy, but it actually does help a lot with just trying to get that better controller feel and it keeps your hands away from the touchpad so you're not accidentally touching the pad because you got your hands down here kind of on the holder so little thing there if you guys give a heads up for it uh, if you want to get it. Now even though I got that for free after you buy a game a memory card which I have two and this is still a boxed eight gig one um, you're up to a hundred bucks so but still, that's a steal and a Vita. It's gorgeous. I'm really enjoying it so far. And it's a fantastic little handheld, man. It's a hardcore, beautiful thing. So I'm really looking forward to East coming out for it. Some other games. Fantasy Star Online 2. Um, just a bunch of stuff coming out that I really would like to get for it. Picked up Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, if I, I did my top 10 last year. And I picked up Shadows of the Dam after I did that. Now, if I would have known how great that game was by Suda51 and Grasshopper Studios or manufacturer I guess they call themselves that would have been close to that would have been in the top five of my list because that game was fantastic to me right up my alley so I was really excited for a lot of top chainsaw um, so far I'm almost done with it I think I'm on the fourth act uh, combats is really simplistic you know what simple combat arcadey style I'm really enjoying it though, just for the dialogue and everything. It cracks me up. It's all about gaming and having fun. And I'm having fun with that game. It's a blast. So I got it for 45 when it was on sale at Amazon, so it was really cheap. But yeah, great game. Picked up Class of Heroes for the PSP. Um, it's not complete, unfortunately. But I found out, uh, for, I think I was watching Nostalgic Dan 1, someone's video where they're going over some of their PSP recommendations or games they like to play or one of those and this has actually become a game that was hard, is hard to get and I did get it from GameStop for 11 bucks but and people will down them but if you they have games at good prices there if you can find them and they're there you're gonna get a good deal on it so I got Class of Heroes 
A store was closing down nearby. I'm not sure if I showed these off or not. If I showed these off, I'm sorry. I don't remember, but um, I had a store closing going on down here. And in there, they had a box copy of the Dark Spire. Uh, it is. It had the CD soundtrack with it. And it said it was used on it, but it actually wasn't used. I believe the game is still sealed inside. Yeah, it's still in, still sealed. So when it came with the soundtrack, um, haven't tried it because I'm just trying to keep it sealed. Um, I just bought this. I normally don't do it, but out of it, probably going to be rare one day. And with the soundtrack and box, I normally only buy a game if I'm going to play it. I'm totally against just buying something because it's rare. But um, I don't. I'm not into road type RPGs, so I'm not sure I'd really be into this. Who knows? One day I probably will crack it up and give it a try. I can't own a game without playing it, but that was more for rarity. Also, at GameStop, picked up a little, another rare one, but I actually didn't want to try this because some people said it was fun, was My World, My Way. I don't know if you could see it. They didn't have the case for that. It's one downfall for that. Um, I heard this game was rare too, and it is. If you look up on Amazon stuff, you can't find it. Sometimes it's up near 30 bucks just for the cart. So I picked it up, plugged it in. It actually kind of was fun. The gameplay didn't hook me, but... Um, yeah, I'm still glad to own it just for its rarity, of course, again. <clears throat> Another thing I got, I know I'm rushing around with this, but just trying to get it all in in a set amount of time. But uh, Dustin just did his pickup of this item, and when he did it, I'll just go ahead and show you. I'll just show you this part. It's the Game Boy Player. This is the disc. I have the item actually hooked up to my Game Boy, uh, sorry, GameCube right now. Uh... When he did his pickup for it, and he saw the price, I don't want to put him on blast or anything. He did say it in the comments, though, that he paid 45 bucks for it. And I was like, wow, I did not know they were that high selling on the internet. And my GameStop has a bunch here. They have them for, I paid $8.99 with my discount card. With tax, that was $9.52. The disc is in great condition. I tested it out. It works great. And it was only, it was under 10 bucks. So if anyone needs one I mean send me a message I'll save you a ton of money I'll be glad to go pick you one up and mail it out to you I wish Dustin would have got a hold of me and knew if you needed one so would have gladly hooked him up but they do have plenty more there they're in the back of the box no one's gonna ask for them especially in my neighborhood so just let me know send me a message and I will gladly hook you up okay we will do the next one here will be we'll see with GameCube picked up Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Played about three hours of it, um, and it was in the middle of while I was trying to beat some other games for Summer Backlog, so I set it down. But it was fun. I heard it's a really long game, so I don't want to get too heavy into it now because I don't have time for it. But I'm glad I picked it up because it's getting tougher to find around here. Alright, I think the next thing I'll show off here is... Alright, we'll go ahead and show this one. Shadow Hearts picked this one up. Uh, I believe I got it from GameStop. Uh, it was 20 bucks. had some credit there. Picked it up because I really, it's another one that's tough to find. And if you can find that game size, pretty much the best deal you're going to get. Had the manual and all, it is complete. So uh, I was really enjoying this. Um, I have about six hours into Shadow Hearts. It's a great game. It's just tough for me. My PS2 is in here. And it's tough for me to actually get into this room and actually play a game. So that's why if I'm outside in the uh, living room, it's e easier for me to play games out there. And PS2 just is not hooked up out there. So when I have time, I always come and try to get in a little bit of Shadow Hearts. But that's one I'm definitely going to finish. Alright, we'll skip over that one. And we're going to jump over here. This is a game that I picked up that I sent someone a video about. But uh, it's due that I showed it off to you guys. Because I got a steal of a deal on this. And that is Final Fantasy VI for the Game Boy Advance. And it's pretty much why I got the Game Boy Advance player. I sent a video to uh, Dustin Christ because um, this is his favorite Final Fantasy game. And I just had to show off that I had a complete inbox, great copy of this game. And that's pretty much the reason why I got that Game Boy Advance player as well. It's because I have the old style Game Boy Advance and you have no backlight. And I just needed a way to really play this game and enjoy it. So, And I got this for five bucks, by the way. Five bucks. And it's complete manual and everything uh, I want to show you guys but believe me it's in there <laughs> so that was a great pickup great find keep going on uh, we'll do this one first well, I was at a
flea market. Picked up Nightmare Creatures, complete in box, survival horror, or not much survival horror, but still, it's in that genre. I love that genre. Haven't played it yet. Kept it in a box, but I will play it. it it's I don't know what the reviews and stuff are on this game, but it looked pretty neat on the back, and it was a complete in box game for a dollar, so I couldn't pass up on it. Another game that was for a dollar, Dragon Warrior for the NES. In the uh, podcast that will never air with me, Dustin Christ, and Ball and Nick with our little test episode we did, kind of talked about that game. And I pretty much came to the conclusion that I shouldn't put it in because I might not be my type of RPG, especially for being as old as it is and early in the RPG genre. I might have a little bit of problems with it, but I'm still glad it's in my collection. All right, uh... Lastly for any games is I picked this little item up for five bucks as well at the flea market and it is a game gear with the battery covers on it. That's tough to find with battery covers. It actually works, it works great. Um and with the pickup there were five games. Sorry they're in their case so you won't be able to really make them out by reading them off to you. It's X Men. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Tails, I think. Mortal Kombat. George Foreman KO Boxing. And Spider Man Return of the Sinister Six. Not a lot of gems there or anything, but um, for five bucks, another th and it's something you just can't pass on, especially the complete game gear. I mean, I, I gave all the games a test and a try. They were fun, little game gear games, but. Nothing to really be all special about. I'm so glad to have it in my collection for so cheap. And lastly, just something to show off to you guys. Is I bought this off of Amazon as well. Studio Ghibli collection. This is a collection that comes with six discs. And it has uh, 12 movies all together. Um, so I'm watching through this. I'm really enjoying all the Studio Ghibli movies. Can't wait for Nino Kuni to come out. I'm really looking forward to that game. See them in level 5 teamed up and making the game. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah, so far I, I've watched about eight of the movies, and I think uh, Minoke, Princess Minoke right now, that's pretty high on my list, and uh, Castle in the Sky, I believe, is one of them. Yeah, I believe it's called Castle in the Sky. That's also uh, a fantastic, uh, that movie's great, but anyways, I think I got this for 20 bucks, and I'm not regretting it at all. It's got a lot of good movies on here. Grave of Fireflies. It's it's different from all other type of the Studio Ghibli ones I watched. It was very sad and depressing, but it was really cool how they could get that out of the cartoon, out of the cartoon movie to be able to do that or anime movie. So uh, you got to give them credit for being able to pull off something like that. But yeah, that's that's everything really quickly. All the better stuff that I picked up over the past couple months. Um, yeah, I bought some Wii games and 3DS games and stuff. Nothing to really show off or brag about or anything like that. So, um, yeah, those are some of the better items I picked up. Ooh, forgot one. When I was playing, uh, I wanted to test out some GameCube games and stuff to play while I was out in the room out there so I could be with family and stuff still. I picked this little gem up. It's a wireless GameCube controller that can attach to your Wii. Um, <coughs> I think it was 16 bucks. And try finding a Wave Bird for that much. And this thing, it, it works perfect. I, you think cheap knockoffs are going to be very bad quality, but these buttons are solid. Everything is great with this controller. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a wireless GameCube controller. It works in your GameCube. It works in your Wii. Get this thing, because this thing is nice. You're not going to pay the money you're going to pay for WaveBird. And it's newer, so you would hope newer technology will last you longer. But this thing, uh, the only problem is it's tough getting these battery uh, covers off. Other than that, this thing is just awesome. I like it better than the GameCube controller that it comes with. This is what I'm playing every GameCube game with now. So yeah, if you need a wireless controller, do yourself a favor get one of these. 16 bucks. So yeah, that's the last thing I believe. Um, playing Diablo 3 too, I picked that up. I'll shoot that in there. Um, if anyone wants to play online, just let me know. But uh, yeah, I believe that's everything. Some better pickups for you guys. I'll have another video coming out pretty soon here. An unboxing surprise. That'll be a pretty good one. So stay tuned. Laggy Gamer. Laggy now.